Yo guys, what's up? So today we're doing a challenge. We are shooting with the 50 mil. Um, we're going walking around a bit and just going to shoot a bit with the 50 mil. That's the only lens I brought with us. I'm um, going to see what photos we're going to get. Let's get on with the video. Let's go. Okay, right. So what's up, guys? Um, as you guys saw in the intro of my video, uh, today's challenge is just using the 50 mil to take some really good portraits. I did try one or two uh, landscapes, but they didn't come out as well as I expected as this is dominantly a portrait lens. It's a beautiful little lens. Um, it is so small compared to other lenses and looks really funny on the camera to be honest. If I just grab one of my other lenses quickly. This is one of my other lenses. Um, yeah, these are both dominantly portrait lenses. This is actually a micro lens as well. And um, if you just look at the difference <laughs> in size, it is absolutely mad. But anyway, extremely powerful lens, extremely useful lens. I'm pretty sure almost all professional photographers have this in their collection because it's just such a versatile lens. Um, it gets such crisp photos and what I love about it is it blurs out the background. If you see a lot of my photos where I have the subject in the middle of the frame, the backgrounds all blur and it makes the, the, the subject pop and I love that about this lens. Um, so let's hop onto the MacBook now and let's edit some of the photos I took from yesterday. Okay, right, so I've just loaded it into Lightroom, you know, as you can see. Um, these are all the photos we took um, from yesterday with the 50 mm. It's all taken about with the 50 mm. As you can see here, let me get to a good one. I love, if you can see how focused my brother's face is in, but then how blurred the background is, I really love that effect. And the 50 mm does this effect amazing. And you can see how sharp the subject is. I absolutely love that. So let's just go here. Like the first couple of ones, I was just getting my settings right. As you see, they cover dark, and I really I used the flash there. I really don't like how half his face is dark, half his face is white. It looks very unbalanced. I know it's natural, but let's go to a nice one. That's not a bad one. Let me just bring down exposure a little bit. There we go. Yeah, like I said, this lens is literally for me. A lot of my portraits on my photography accounts on Instagram are taking this lens because it's just such an amazing lens. I really do love how this lens looks and how it takes photos um and it's very simple to use it's especially it's very small and lightweight like you can stick this in your pocket really i've put it in my pocket a couple of times and it's just there it does its job it's very 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 basic and i really really love how it looks and let's just look at the before and after i mean look at that difference already just, i've just done basic edits and this is how look how his face look at the difference I love that. That's a that's a banger of a shot. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what else I've taken. <laughs> yeah, just there's some of me. Let's see if oh my, my brother's still getting used to the camera. He's used to my old Canon. This one's a lot more complicated, and I'm shooting in fully manual mode. So, so that's not a bad one, actually. Okay, that's blur. Let's just delete that. Um, let's have a look. That one. Let's see if I can bring the exposure down a bit, but I have to. Let's just bring the leaves are so bright. So, uh, let's just see if we can do this. Okay, like that, and then bring this up. Yeah, the lighting in this one was not good at all. I can see I can recover the photo. Uh, but I don't think I'll be able to just because that lighting above my head is just so bright. Um, yesterday was extremely it was extremely cloudy day, but uh, it was very bright. The sky was bright. It was lit up. That's actually not that bad. I actually do like that. Okay, so I'm a bit blurry, but I'll save that one. Let's export that one quickly. Um, yeah. So the same with the lighting yesterday. It was super cloudy, but the light was extremely bright um, and that is absolutely perfect for photography when it's those cloudy overcast days but the sun is just absolutely like shining through it's absolutely what the best possible lighting to do any type of photography oh, that is such a crisp like, look at that that's a whole other photo just in itself it's absolutely amazing let me just touch up on his eyes a little bit just make his eyes come out pop him out uh, let's, let's get some more blue. Yeah, my brother's got really good blue eyes. It's amazing. I love how the camera focuses on his eyes like that. So let's look at that. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Let's go. Let's just see what I was talking about. Just let's bring this up a little, make it a little darker. There you go. Check it out. So 
a little bit too vibrant. There we go. That is that is a banger. Look at that. Look at the crisp. That is like so crisp. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's export this one. Yeah, so hands down, this is literally one of my favorite lenses for portraits because it's just just the crispness and how it blurs. I mean, uh, you don't. Let me just say, you don't have to blur out the background. Um, you can have it where the background's fully in focus. But obviously, I just love how it blurs out that background. It's absolutely amazing. I use it all the time. If you see all my photos, if you look carefully, most of my photo, most of my portraits are with the blurred out background, and I absolutely love that effect. It really makes the subject stand out, and that's kind of what you want to do, especially with portrait photography. You want your subject to stand out. You don't want them to just be blending in the background. Um, you really do want them to pop. Especially for Instagram and using on mobile, you want your subject to stand out, especially because it's a much smaller screen than computers. So you 100% want them to pop and stand out. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Bring this up. Um, and those people who are wonder, wondering, I'm using Lightroom Classic. I'm not using the newer one. I don't really like the newer Lightroom. It's just uh, I used the classic, and I've always liked it. I have tried the newer one. I'm not gonna hate on it, and who have never tried it, I have tried it. Um, I think it is free if you have an Adobe account. I think it's free to run it. Where Lightroom Classic for paying for, um, but I just I've always used Lightroom Classic, and that's just how it is. Getting this one, we took on the bridge, and I really like. You can see how bright the sky was over there. You can check it's just a giant light softbox basically. Um let's see don't that, that's not that bad. That's actually a banger of a shot. Let's just do let's just bring the as you can see the sky is like super super bright. So let me just lower it down a bit. That's actually a pretty sick shot. Let's, I didn't have to do much to the shot to be honest. There's a couple more ones. It's not bad. Let's go. Let's check out. I know there's ones where I had to wrap. There we go. These I love. Especially because I love this aspect of the robots. See, I got them in almost every shot. I purposely got them in. That is a really awesome shot. Let's go. I think I got them in the green too. Okay, I want to cut the robots off. That is a bang of a shot. I absolutely love that. Uh, let's just check. That took a preset on there. That is a banger of a shot. Okay, right, so let's go else. Let's check what else we got here. These are rubber AC. This I was talking about the sky is super bright. The sun's diffused, but it's just like one giant softbox I can bring down low <laughs> It's just it's really difficult to work with. We're getting there though. Okay, let me get some vibrance in there. Let's get let's get some adjustment on the eyes a bit. Bring those up. Let's see how this looks. A little more blue. Like that, there you go. Looks a little bit better. So I see it gives these patches. I really don't like how this comes out like that. Let's just move on. I think most of these are really. Here we go. And I got in the bush a bit to get some effect, which came out right. I just bring this. To bring that down. If I bring these two down, I can bring this up a little bit. There we go. That's simple. You know, that's just pretty sick to be honest. I don't want my brother's eyes are so dark. They look like a bloody ghost. Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, I think it's gonna do so. Change. Look, I'm gonna get a little bit of dark on that side. Bring this side up a little bit. Trying to balance the uh, lighting out on his face. Uh, there we go. 
Look, it's not one of my best photos, to be honest. What do you do? I'm quite happy with that. That's pretty sick. I like that. And these are all the same. And so my landscape photos, I tried that. Um, so that's about it, guys. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this. I'm super keen. I love doing these types of videos. Uh, we do a whole bunch of challenges and stuff like that. Um, I think these are still one of my favorite photos. Where are they? These ones, yeah. These came out really crisp. I really like these ones. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Please don't get my subscribers up. Start growing. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next video.